Archimedes proved that if we cut an orange into slices of equal thickness, the peel is the same. And even for the topmost slice. The most amazing thing is that he did this without calculus. Because calculus would be invented 1600 years later by another man who had an apple fall on his head. And the area of this slice is 2 pi times the radius of the orange times the height of the slice. Independent of where you cut the slice from. And so for proving our intuition, we need to do some background work. We need to understand what latitude really means. So when we say L degrees latitude north, it means L is the angle between two points on a longitude at the center of the earth, such that one point is on the latitude and another on the equator. Now if we draw a perpendicular, we get R times sine of L as the vertical height of this latitude from equator. Similarly, R times cos L is the radius of this latitude. And so the circumference of this latitude is 2 pi times R times cos of L. We also need to recount the basic definition of an angle in radians. In a circle, angle in radians that arc makes with the center is defined as arc of the length divided by the radius of the circle. In our land, this angle is also the latitude L and the arc length D is either 5 kilometers or 50 kilometers, half of the north-south boundary. Now with this background, let's come back to our land which is bound between two latitudes and two longitudes. Let's first find out the area of the whole slice between two latitudes. For this we use the Archimedes slice theorem. So the area of the whole slice is 2 pi r times the height of the slice between two latitudes. This height is r sin l above and r sin l below the equator and so it is 2 times r sin l. Therefore the area of the whole slice is 2 pi r times 2 sin of l. Our land is not the whole slice but a part of it. So our land area is overall area of the slice times x divided by the circumference of the latitude or in other words 4 pi r sin l times x divided by the circumference 2 pi times cos l which basically gives 2r times x times tangent of l. In our case when east-west boundary x is 100 kilometers, d is 5 and therefore the latitude is 5 by r. Similarly when east-west boundary is 10 kilometers, d is 50 so the latitude is 50 by r. Putting these numbers for Earth as a sphere of 6400 kilometers, we get both land areas as 1000 square kilometers but a little bit more because Earth is a sphere. As we intuitively found, land with the shortest east-west boundary of 10 kilometers is 0.002% more than the other land. So much for fighting over a little piece of land. Now I sincerely hope that you like the answer and the explanation and don't wish for earth to be flat so that you didn't have to go through all this cruel. Thanks for watching.